Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Christian Mechanic. I just hope everybody's having a blessed day. Um, now I got another set of these Icon uh, hex keys. I picked these up, you know, probably five, six days ago. I just they've been sitting around, I haven't had a chance to get to them, so I figured I'd do it today. Um, I don't have anything going on right now, so I figured today would be a good day to do it. But we'll just go over it real quick. Uh, same deal with the other, with the uh, metric ones. These were marked as uh, $39.99. Take them up to the register, though, and they price check it. They were, they're still $19.99 as of a couple days ago, so I imagine they're still the same. So you got your, uh, your part number up here in the top corner as uh, MCBHLS-13. And these are Icon Professional Ball and L shaped hex wrench set, SAE 13 piece. And they go from 3 8 all the way down to 0 .050. These are a lifetime guarantee. It says they are the high torque S2 steel. They are made in Taiwan, which it says down here, and the item number is 57926. Anything else special on here? They are it says precision chamfered ends. So it's smoothie, durable plastic organizer, printed size markings. Uh, color coded for easy identification. And it says the high about the high torque steel, the S2 construction. Uh, corrosion resistant finish, and the ball ends allow a 20 degree angle entry for every difficult fastener. So I already pre-cut these, so I'll be able to get them out a lot easier. Again, uh, the, the icon uh, badge is on the front of this. It's an erased thing, so at least that's not printed on there. So in case you do rub these off, you know, at least they'll, they'll know it's icon because it's it's printed on here. Uh, we'll start with the uh, three eighths. Um, pull that out take a quick look at it now these are not marked icon is not stamped anywhere on it they do have the size uh, stamped on to it so at least if you have to warranty them out I know I had trouble with one of the hammers that I had taken back because it didn't have Pittsburgh on it anywhere so um, but their but their hammers don't have Pittsburgh on it so this one you shouldn't really have too much problem warranting it out because at least the uh, Allen pack did it come in at least has the size size on it and I got my uh, calipers here we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we'll check the uh, we'll just check it to see how close it is to 3 8 so we'll just go in here and three point uh, hold on, I just had it 3.74 so it should be th around 3.75 so that's about millimeter off so that's pretty good that's pretty that's pretty close or a thousand it's a thousandth off sorry not a millimeter it's a thousandth off so that's pretty good that's a, that's a pretty nice tight fit uh now let's see if i can uh zoom it in here for you um not zoom it in here just show you the top because it says it's chamfered and i'm looking at it, it does have it is a slight chamfer but it's not it's not i've seen i've seen more I've seen Allen keys that have more of a chamfer on it than that, but it does have a nice. It does have. It is chamfered, just like the, uh, just like the box says or the pack, whatever you want to call it says. And just we'll just take a quick look here at the ball end as well. Um, again, you can just uh, it's got the mill marks on it, and it's chamfered as well. The ball and like I said, the paint. Um, I don't see any spots on it where the metals, like where the paint's super thin, where you can see the metal underneath of it. Like I said, uh, time will tell how, how good the paint wears off on these things, uh, if it's going to be, you know, if it's going to wear off real easy and whatnot. Um, let's take one more look at this, uh, the one eighth. We'll see what the, uh, how close the one eighth is on here. So let me zero this bag out, and then we'll put it in here. Uh, the one eighth is one point two five, so that's right on the money right there. So that's that's perfect. That's exactly that's exactly one eighth. So when you're using, like I said, these look like they got some good tolerances on them. I like I'm liking the tolerances. Now I'm going to compare these. Uh, I have the Tecton ones here that I paid and that uh, I think I paid twenty bucks. For. I don't know. Yeah, you have to go. I have to go back and watch my other video. If I can't I can't remember what I paid for them, but. 
Here's a, these are the Tecton ones, and we'll just uh, see. Just comparing it to the Tecton ones. This is the 3 8 and this is also 3.74. So that's pretty that's pretty close to that's within a thousand as well. And we'll just go ahead and just uh, we'll check the eight, one eighth as well, since we're uh, comparing both of them. Let me uh, zero it back out. Uh, it's still not five. There we go. So here's the one eighth. Just comparing it to the Tecton one point two five. So even the tech. Uh, so okay. So the Tecton ones because I didn't do the Tecton ones in my other video. I did the. Uh, the other set of long uh, metric Allen keys, the other brand, and they were a little bit off. But these Tecton ones, um, look like the tolerances are pretty good on these too. And the chamfering looks uh, similar to the Harbor Freight chamfering, but you can see that, if you can see that on the ends there, they, the, mil the machine marks are not on these uh, Icon ones like they are on these Tecton ones. So they are, they're a little bit, they clean them up, they're cleaned up a little bit more, you know, it just um, probably did a little bit more, you know, buffing and polishing and, you know, smoothing out all the rough edges just to make them look a little bit nicer. So not, not a bad deal. We'll see, uh, like I said, we'll see how they hold up and if there are any, uh, if that S2 steel is as uh, high torque as it says as it is on the uh, side of the package. Anyway, everybody, I just want to thank you. Uh, thanks for checking out my video and just, uh, Leave a message, and like I said, I always try to get back to everyone as long as I see it. <laughs> but just want to thank everyone. Have a blessed day, and just take care. Thank you, everybody.